Hello dear watch friends. Today I will show you how is disassembling and assembling the ETA 6497 clone movement. This is a seagull clone movement of the ETA, ETA 6497. Oh, let's get started. First, we remove the balance wheel. From the movement. I search my tweezer. So, then put screw. I have a piece who I put the pieces but it's a very useful piece of thing so I adjust my cam now let's start first we Gently pick the so then let I let the power of the movement and then gently the stem slowly the power loose of the movement so the power is off zero now we can remove the first bridge it holds with two screws one two maybe i make two part of this video or one then lift the bridge carefully and then so we have the now the other part of the bridge with screws also with two screws sorry guys for my setup I hope you see this sharp full now I Remove the screw of the ratchet wheel with one, it's hold with one screw, and then I remove the ratchet wheel. Now I can remove the crown wheel with threaded with anti clockwise screw counterclockwise 
the screw is threaded counterclockwise There was two parts. This is the first and then the little part here. So and now I can remove the plate with lift up the in two sides. I use a screwdriver before I broke my tweezer. Oh, there is a another screw. Sorry guys, I have forgotten this screw. So now we can lift up the bridge and then that's the bridge now we when we make oh it's the another Turn the other side, there's the barrel is up. Okay, the barrel have, we have, the barrel is out. This is the hour wheel. And now, yeah, it's not professional, but... <laughs> So that was the escape wheel, second wheel, third wheel. So the center wheel is locked by the locked by the cannon pinion we must I use a book. another tweezer for this job. Why? That is so. Normally, normally uh, that use a cannon pinion remover, but I don't have this tool. So, and then. Yeah, that's very sticky and this tweezer so not so professional but it's out. So that was the center wheel. Now we can turn the plate the other position opposite position now we must opening this screw that's threaded gently turn one round and then put the stem out so we have the cannon pinion that's the sorry no cannon pinion that's the sliding Sliding wheel. 
and there's no focus. So and the uh, second part. So and now we I believe I'm a, I make two videos. First, the disassembling, and the second video I make the assembling video. So, and now we must remove the pellet fork with the pellet. That screwdrivers to I use for this one millimeter screwdriver. That's a very gently part that can broke when you don't need careful this operation. So the screws now I put the this little tiny part it's very little tiny part oh, I have problems with my focus here guys but you mean what I So, now the other side, the keyless work must be removed. That is a very simply movement for assembling and disassembling. So, now to the keyless work. First, we must unscrew the this screw for this plate my screwdriver for lift so now I remove this plate and now remove the this wheel And then the both both wheels here also remove this spring and now I lift up the yoke and remove this, also remove the yoke. I have last week this movement servicing 
you see the lubricating on this the lubricating is very fresh but I will sh I will make a video who I show the disassembling and assembling for you guys and now this part this part is the part who held hold the stem this part is screwed I'm I must unscrew this part from another side from the other side here is the screw these must so and then that's this part guys with screwed so the last part of the keyless work now we have removed all parts from the back from the base plate and yeah that was the disassembling of the movement eta clone 6497 just be continued if you like this video Please left a comment or a like or a subscription. See you next time.